Hi friends, as we know, ESP8266 has only one ADC, which will make it unsuitable for project where we need more ADC. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can have more analog pins in ESP8266. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. To have more analog pins, we are going to use a multiplexer. So we are going to use CD4051IC for this project, which is an analog multiplexer. First, we're gonna connect ESP8266. After that, I'm gonna connect CD4051IC and connect its pin number 6, 7 and 8 to ground and its pin number 16 to positive supply. And then I'm gonna connect its pin number 3 to pin A0 of ESP8266 and its pin number 9 to pin D7 of ESP8266 and its pin number 10 to pin D6 of ESP8266 and its pin number 11 to pin D5 of to pin D5 of ESP8266. Now all the remaining pin of CD4051 IC are our analog input pins. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to ESP8266 and test the project. Here in this example, I have connected 8 trim ports in voltage divider configuration and connect them to analog inputs. Now we can see the values of analog input pins on serial monitor. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.